All right, we are just one week away now from the total solar eclipse. Only seven days away. Hard to believe that the highly anticipated event cuts across Ohio with multiple areas right in the path of totality. Some will be plunged right into total darkness. When you say plunge, it sounds like yeah, doomsday, right? It's going to happen. <laughs> are you one of the millions who can expect to experience that? Well, there's certainly no shortage of preparations or excitement here in central Ohio. As 10 TV's Doug Petcash shows us, thousands have been getting an early sneak peek no eclipse glasses needed. Yes, so we're walking inside the Kosai Planetarium, and this is one of the largest planetariums in the Midwest. And what's so cool is this holds about 210 people, and we've been filling this up with people who are curious about seeing the eclipse show. Kosai Communications Director Christy Williams says eight times per day since January 9th, the heavens have opened up to visitors on the dome of the planetarium. They lean back to soak up the sun in a show called Eclipse, The Moments of Wonder. What's happening is the moon is actually blocking the sun, and for those in the path of totality, they're going to actually see the sun's corona, the sun's atmosphere, and it is going to be an amazing celestial experience. This map shows the roughly 120 mile wide path of totality that will stretch across Ohio. So those in totality will see totality for about four minutes max, but the actual eclipse and as it's happening will take a couple hours. That's from when the moon just starts to pass in front of the sun until it completely clears it on the other side. You may remember the partial eclipse of 2017, but the state says the last total eclipse to cast a shadow across Ohio was way back in 1806. This is something that's not going to happen in America until 2045 and not in Ohio until 2099. So this is a rare chance to see a total solar eclipse, but whether the weather cooperates is the big uncertainty. Do you have any poll as far as whether there will be any clouds on April 8th? Okay, so I've been sending out good vibes since 2017 knowing this eclipse is coming out for sun, so I think so. While we keep our fingers crossed for April 8th, a total eclipse will be clear to see at COSI eight times a day through April 13th. And people are absolutely coming to COSI to see this eclipse show because the buzz is palpable. In Columbus, Doug Petcash, 10 TV News. That is just so cool. Well, COSI is having a free event Monday from 1 until 4 p.m. And there are plenty of other ways to watch the total solar eclipse right here in central Ohio. The Columbus Zoo is holding a solar bration that day. This event is included with your zoo admission. Cities like Hilliard, New Albany and Westerville, among many, also hosting events at different parks and museums like the Ohio History Connection will be doing special events for visitors. We do have a full list on 10tv.com. The Ohio Department of Agriculture releasing guidance for farmers and landowners who don't want people on their property viewing the eclipse. O ODA says that they can encourage on they are they are encouraging owners rather to put out signs saying they don't want eclipse viewers on their property. For those who do, the department says farmers should talk about the activities and possible liabilities with their insurance agents.